But did you get a sense just in talking to them that could you tell whether in your mind this is leading toward Al Capone, an Al Capone sort of scenario <laughs> or whether it's just an inquiry that could leave Donald Trump free and clear just from your sense of talking with them? So my sense is that Cy Vance, uh, who is politically astute, did not bring in the likes of an individual like Mark Pomerantz, a incredibly well-known uh, and prolific attorney when it comes to this area of significant financial crimes, uh, as well as complex financial crimes. Um, they didn't bring him in, not for not to bring an indictment. And I suspect the indictment will probably be uh, sooner than later. The two prosecutors leading the Manhattan District Attorney's investigation into Donald Trump and his business practices abruptly resigned. Those two prosecutors had been leading a case that was centered around the allegation that Trump was inflating the value of his assets in order to obtain favorable loans from banks. And by all accounts, it was an investigation that appeared to be gaining momentum. But according to the reporting at the time, those two very high-profile prosecutors resigned after the newly elected DA, tasked with overseeing the case, quote, indicated that he had doubts about moving forward with the case against Trump. Now, tonight, the New York Times has published the resignation letter from one of those prosecutors, and it is remarkable. This is the resignation letter of Special Assistant District Attorney Mark Pomerantz, set to the Manhattan, sent to the Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg last month. Quote, as you know from our recent conversations and presentations, I believe that Donald Trump is guilty of numerous felony violations of the penal law in connection with the preparation and use of his annual statements of financial condition. The team that has been investigating Mr. Trump harbors no doubt about whether he committed crimes. He did. Mr. Pomerantz noted in his letter that the previous district attorney overseeing the case, quote, concluded that the facts warranted prosecution, and he directed the team to prevent, present evidence to a grand jury and to seek an indictment of Mr. Trump and other defendants as soon as reasonably possible, end quote. The letter then explained that the current district attorney, Alvin Bragg, decided not to seek criminal charges, at least, at least not yet, and that the investigation has been suspended indefinitely. While Mr. Pomerantz did not question the district attorney's authority in making his decision or his sincerity in believing that it was the right call, he argues in the letter that, quote, a decision made in good faith may nevertheless be wrong. I believe that your decision not to prosecute Donald Trump now and on the existing record is misguided and completely contrary to the public interest, end quote.